Hello and welcome to another Rackies beer review. So this time we're going over to Drone Valley Brewery. I think this is the first ever beer from this brewery. So it's called Cole Aston Porter, 4.5%, the UK's only independent community brewery. Um, it then says something about bottle conditioned. So Unit 2, Unstone Industrial Estate, Main Road, Unstone. I have no idea where that is. S18 4AB, dronevalleybrewery.com. And on this side it says, Cole Aston Porter. Um, seven different malts going to make in this tasty dark beer. Um, a complete porter that has, just, has to be just experienced. That just has to be experienced, that's better. Uh, the brewery is owned and run by our members. Our beers are handcrafted by volunteers and more and more are welcome. As a community brewery, our profits are shared with local good causes. Become a member, own a brewery. Love the ethos behind that, you know. Um, I think for a lot of people, the getting into doing brewing, if you're a home brewer, business of brewing your own beer, um, and, you know, putting the effort into it, and reaping the rewards at the end. So a nice bit of smoke on this initially. Here we go. And yeah, I mean, as a beer reviewer, you know, there's no greater honour than um, breweries willing to brew a beer with you. And uh, one does apologise for the lighting. I'm in the house and it goes light and dark all the time. And it don't help that I've got a white top on tonight. So I've got the old um, um, stag do top on that Liam Musco uh, gifted to me on, on the night. And sadly, I was the first one to um, get too drunk. Um, I blame 14, 13% beers that wiped me out and we got all got a bit loud and uh, all got a bit drunk so uh, these things happen you know um uh, i tend to be always be the first one that drops um so yeah lovely black poor slightly off off white head a finger of head lovely malty aroma on this Chocolate malty aroma, touch of coffee on the nose there. Very malty. So yeah, a community brewery, wow, you know, that's great. It's great for interaction, people learning off each other's, learning how to do the recipes and there's so much to learn. Brewing the beer. Um not sure where I got this from. I assume I got it from the house of beers at Ashbourne. Um, don't think I got it from Adventure Beer. So I presume I got it there. It's been a while, so I may, I may have got it from somewhere else. Um, yeah. Four point five percent. Yeah, it tastes like a four point five percent. Just a nice twang on on the on the back end. Um, like I say, all very malty. It's a straight up porter. All very malty. Oh, I had an accident before Christmas, and I'm really struggling with this arm. Just here, kind of. Uh, tripped on something doing somebody's garden, fell into the fence, caught me in there on a piece of metal, and ever since that, that old arm, ooh. and uh, I swear as you get older, you, you, you become more susceptible to um, injuries. I'm lethal for falling over or hitting myself, so yeah, it's not great for me, not great for Rackage Bay Reviews. Um, Yeah, first ever beer from this brewery that I remember anyway. I, I may have had another beer and I can't remember, but uh, it is what it is, you know. But uh, yeah, 
Um, always great to support a brewery that I've never had a beer from before. And I'm sure it was House of Beer Ashbourne where I got this. And again, fantastic shop. Um, really doing their, their thing for their local breweries, you know, stocking them local beers as, as well as craft beers and modern traditional beers from further afield. Um, but by getting the name of these beers to someone like me, somebody like me says about them, uh, puts it on social media and it grows and you'd be surprised how um, the world of social media is a powerful tool used rightly anyway. Nice bitterness on the back end. Definitely a good twang from this beer. Um, quite a kick to it. So I'll just pull the second part of the glass out now. Never the greatest pourer of beers. Never will be. Um, has somebody who home brews himself. Going to get back into it uh, in the next few months. Certainly at the end of the month, I presume. Um, and get back into it and uh, see how we go from there, you know. Um, see what there is to brew, both on grain brewing and via beer kits. Um, beer kits are great, you know. A lot of people say that oh, it's, beer kits aren't the same as doing it in grain. A lot of people can't afford to do it the grain way. A lot of people can't afford to put the time in. So a beer kit where you can shall we say play around with the kits it's an amazing thing um, there are some beer kits out there mainly from Bulldog Brews and St Peter's although St Peter's are made by Muntons as are most beer kits to be fair um, but Bulldog Brews aka Hambleton Bard I think that's the actual the company um, Evil Dog is normally about 8% ABV, so it's a good ABV. And if you change the hops that they give you in the kit to something different, then you've got a lovely base uh, beer that you can change into something totally different. And, uh, you know, it's a double IPA that can be changed into both a triple IPA, uh, but it also can, um, you can flood it with different hops to create something quite special. So, you know, um, you don't have to have uh, a grain kit to, to be able to experience homebrew and, and playing around with kits to, to, you know, via essences or via hops. Um, the world of ears is a fantastic world. Oh, a lovely kick to this. Got to be honest, the ABV, it's only 4.5, but proper feeling that ABV. Um, oh. Oh. I'm tired. I've been up since half five. It's literally about nine o'clock now. And uh, I've got to go for a walk soon, so these things happen, don't they? It's what you get when you get young dogs, you need a wee, and, uh, and you're the one. Not letting my wife walk around the streets at nine o'clock at night, you never know who you're going to meet. Um, you take one look at me and they think, oof. <laughs> Although you do get some characters on anywhere these days, you know, one has to be uh, watching. Um, I come from a council gardening background so working on a public park so i watch people before they even realize they're being watched and uh, and then i watch them again and then if i see them doing something that causes me to watch them a bit more until they come out of my sight and, and they move on um i had a lad last night who, who was uh, doing drugs I could smell it a mile off as I got close, you could see him watching me, and it's like, you know, I've got a dog with me, and uh, although she's not a barker, uh, my old dog, 
would have gone for him because she would he would have not stood for it. It'd have been what you do in there. Uh, this one, she's far too innocent to understand that there's bad people in the world. And uh, but uh, this lad went a different way, and uh, I was glad for that. You know, don't want any confrontation. You know, he may be a nice lad who's just doing drugs, but uh, nothing I want to say in my life. So anyway, um, lovely porter. Again, um, Drone Valley Brewery, great to be reviewing your beer. Lovely beer, World, UK's only independent community brewery. Uh, big hello to everybody there. Um, keep on with it, you know, doing that thing for the community, getting people involved in brewing and understanding um, all the issues as well, because there's always issues. Nothing ever goes to plan, not always anyway. Not from home brewers to breweries, you know, everyone makes mistakes, puts stuff in at the wrong time, and yeah, yeah, yeah. there's a lot to learn and to do things properly. Um, regardless, dark looking pour, not quite more of a brownie colour pour now than it, I thought it was black earlier, a little white, off white head. Uh, 4.1 out of 5, nice malty beer. Thank you for watching. See you soon.